All right, so what I thought I would do is do a brief video of my nerd cave or maker space or whatever you want to call it. And uh thought I would start out with my my computer. The 6th gen i7 gamer rig, liquid cooled, all the good stuff, the LEDs and all that in there. Fun fun. For my screens I have uh three 42 inch LED 1080p monitors with a uh, 24 inch uh, security camera monitor which I have to reposition and my microphone which I'm actually recording this video on and then here's one of my 3D printers it's the micro 3D it actually does a pretty good job but it's a little bit slow but it has really really good results of course my headphone rack got a couple missing right now they're upstairs and on to my filament rack where I store all of my uh, 3D filament on the top shelf I've got all my PLA plastic it's what I print on majority although the uh, cabinet here I actually bought at Ikea and I've got wood filament, got some new packages of filament waiting to be unspooled. Uh, second shelf is ABS plastic. And everything is uh, humidity controlled by these uh, desiccant dry packs. Here's one on the top, one on the second shelf. Keeps a pretty good humidity unless the doors are wide open. On a few of my prints, my birdhouse that I did uh, a month or so ago. Very, very well detailed. Uh, it's kind of fun to know about a 24 hour print. Did this little pencil holder. I actually did one out of wood and I can't find it. And then of course my uh, my dinosaur T-Rex head that I did. But I have to uh, glue a couple pieces and say I got a missing tooth there up front. I might even reprint it with a little bit more uh, infill. My uh, Ghostbusters logo that I did for my kid. He kind of liked it. And then, of course, my uh, Frankenstein head with removable brains, of course. Clicks in there nicely. And then my newest acquisition, my uh, my airbrush kit <coughs> with paints, which I did uh, a little bit earlier today. First time painting with uh, an airbrush kit. There's actually a few of my prints down here. It's hard to see. Yeah, it's too hard to see. I won't focus on it for some reason. Anyways, I'm going to move my chair out of the way. And then here's on to the printers. I have my uh, Robo 3D R1. And uh, never really got good prints out of this for the longest time. And uh, I made an active cooling bracket. I actually printed off this bracket here. And I've been getting really, really good prints out of it ever since. And uh, all the little pieces and spool holders and everything I've actually made. And I'm going to turn that light off so it'll be easier to see. And so I made these brackets to put the spool on. And uh, it wasn't until I bought this printer here, my Flash Forge Creator Pro, that I realized I was having a lot of printing issues. And uh, I realized with this one, that it has a, an active cooling fan on it. And I thought, well, I bet if my Robo 3D had an active cooling fan on it, I wouldn't have so many failed prints. So sure enough, I installed the active cooler on my Robo 3D, and I'm getting really good results out of it. I just have to rewire it so uh, it'll fit properly and get good prints. Here's a few of my prints. Not all of them are. Some of them are from... Uh, nerd boxes, or nerd blocks and one-up blocks from subscriptions. Several are 3D prints. So here's kind of an overview from the ceiling. My insane amount of uh, car cleaning stuff. All these things here. My business printer. Can't really get all these screens, I don't think, in one shot. That's 
relatively wide. It's about nine and a half feet wide from edge of that screen over there to this one here. So, anyways, I haven't done a video of my uh, my nerd cave in a while, and thought I would do an up-to-date video. Hopefully, it turns out okay with this uh, with this microphone and my my Logitech webcam. So, anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed it.